Alrighty, welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Donkey Kong Country. I guess I can say that because I've been grabbing all the secrets. It didn't really start that way. But I am Greek Limes. We're going to be tackling the final world before the final boss today. This world is called Chimp Caverns. And I practiced it a little bit before I recorded. I did not remember it being this hard. It's a short world. There's not many secrets to grab. But the level of difficulty is just... It's up there, man. That's all I can really say about it. So, let's jump into it. First map is Tanked Up Trouble. Now this one is not too bad. It's only one secret. And it's right at the beginning, but the thing that like messes with you with it is like, I don't know how people found this, but basically, just at the first 90 degree turn in the track, just jump straight down and it takes you to the balloon room. And that's that's really it but these bonus rooms are kind of important in this world I found out because I'm probably gonna die a lot because that's just how it goes when you record but um yeah obviously the more lives you have then you don't have to start over and candy save point isn't till right before the f I think it's the second to last level I'm not really sure but anyways I alluded to this map a little bit in the last video where I said there was a map in the next world where you had to grab all these fuel barrels to keep the cart going. Basically, if you fail to grab these barrels and all the lights on the little cart go out, you don't have a ride out of here. So, I don't know. The level itself, I guess it's not too difficult. Like, a common theme in this world is they try to make you flinch a lot, I've noticed. Um, which will screw the pooch if you do it at the wrong time. Um, yep, right here. That's one of them right there where you kind of got to be on your on your toes. I guess it doesn't really matter because <clears throat> there's a save barrel right here. As long as you jump on the platform before you run out of gas, it'll be fine. But you're going to notice that theme in this world. But the good news is, is once you grab the secret, you don't really have to worry about anything else. You can just kind of worry about progressing to the end of the map. But when it gets to the end, they're really going to start giving you, like, fuel barrels with, like, one dot. And, yeah, that's that's a pain in the butt. So, this tire here, you're going to need it. So be careful with it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. Get out of here, because you're going to screw me up. We want fuel. Yes, we do. Okay, is this the one I want to stay down on? Yep, if you want the letter... Then jump up, and then get more fuel. Alright, and then time this one just right. You can just land right down on the platform. Then we've got a lot of these angry bumblebees. Now here's where it starts getting difficult. Shit. I don't like that I have to do this with Donkey Kong. Maybe we'll be okay. Now nope, this part's a pain in the butt too. Okay, we did it. Okay, I think... Yep, okay. When you see this barrel, like, it's not worth it to try and get the G. Because, yeah, there's a lot more crap. The odds of you losing a life there versus getting the life, like, you kind of got to weigh your options. Basically, in this world. Like, I said lives are important, but you also need to factor in the risk involved with doing it. So, yeah, anyway. First map done, let's move on to Manic Mincers. So Mincers, I found out, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's these little gears I was referring to in Poison Pond. And this is another one of those levels that is just a pain in the butt. Like, they try to make you flinch. I honestly did a lot better on that first map than I thought I would. Oh, and you get a Rambi in here too, which I don't know why, you don't need him. I think it's just a final, like, farewell to the animal buddies. But... I'm going to try to keep him as long as I can. The problem is, so, like, usually most people will lose him, like, right there. Because if you hit that mole, you're, you're going to, like, watch how Rambi does this, that little jump with his horn. Yeah. You'll end up flying right into the mincer, basically. But, uh, yeah. He's got that throbbing, shiny ivory right on his nose that he can just plunge into his enemies. I think one of these, yep, this is the one. See, they lull you into a false sense of security here. 
and you think you can just start jumping, and then that third one, it's just, it's, it's bad news. But anyways. Oh. There he goes. He's gone. Shit. Oh, he's stuck in the pit. Yeah, we're gonna leave him, because... Yeah. Shit. I can't remember if I need this TNT barrel. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, right down here is where we need to go. So, on the other side of this crusher, it's best to use Diddy here. There's your first secret. And this is a secret room that might not seem very important, but it is. Oh, I didn't make it very far. You can grab a lot of bananas, and if you take out all of those uh, clap traps, you get a uh, balloon. So, typically I would just skip through those, but in this world, shit. Um, yeah. Secrets are important. Shit, see, there, that was one where I shouldn't have gone for the end, because the odds of me getting it versus dying there, just a pain in the butt, but whatever. Alright, get out of here. I don't think there was anything too crazy in this secret room over here. <laughs> I can't remember. Let's just go in here and refresh our mind. Oh, yeah. This wouldn't hurt to do again. See, and the other thing that's difficult about this is, like, with three of them, it's hard to see if they're overlapping. You can't see if one of them's blinking, and then you'll end up falling through one, and then... Yeah, you just end up getting screwed, but whatever. We got her beat. Got the balloon. Redeemed herself for losing that life earlier, so. Come on! What the hell was that? You're supposed to run. Out of my face. Probably shouldn't have done that after the big spiel I went on. <laughs> when I died the last time, but whatever. I like to use Donkey Kong through here, because if you got to make precise jumps, if you make a mistake, it's better to have Diddy. Yeah, see, like, right here. Okay. Yep, and this is weird, too. So I don't know if this counts as a secret or not, but in order to get the last secret, you pretty much have to go in here. You don't have a choice. And, like, if you lose a life, you don't... Or, like, if you get hit in here, you don't die. Um, it just takes you back out the exit. So, anyways. That might be the second secret. And then... What you're gonna want to do is grab this TNT barrel. And before you fall, let the screen go down there. Because you need this TNT barrel. If you fall and run into a mole, um, you can't get the secret. Just run into this wall. That's your second or third secret, depending on if that other one is needed. I don't know. But, pay close attention. I'm gonna say this one. Nice. Another thing I just noticed in this map, too, is they really cover your vision with those stalactite things, too. Which is really nice of them. But anyways, Manic Mincers is done. So we are gonna move on to the Misty Mine. And this one is not too bad. There's one secret that's kind of difficult, but they're both after the midway point. So, I think I've got enough lives saved up that if something were to happen, I could just die and it wouldn't be an issue. But yeah, you just gotta basically... Don't get too far ahead of yourself, basically. Once you start figuring out <coughs> where these barrels are, you can kind of navigate the map pretty quickly. And then every chance you get, just to make your life easier, I tend to like to take out the... Oh, that was bullcrap. Take out those barrels, the enemy barrels with the TNT barrel. But yeah, so... Anyways, okay, so halfway point. We'll grab our first secret here in just a second. So this rope, just climb all the way down to the bottom of it, and then here's your first secret right here. 
and then we're gonna go just start at the top and then like figure eight your way through here and you'll get all the Kong letters in the one secret room and a decent amount of bananas and then they give us espresso I mean we're gonna ditch him in two seconds anyways because you can't get the secret with him which is a nice change of pace from world three where you couldn't get him without him but um, yeah so what we gotta do here is we need to jump over yeah we're gonna get rid of him this barrel with that TNT barrel and we're gonna use Diddy for this and then just run into the wall right behind it all right and then right down here that's a little tricky it's a trickier jump but yeah I don't want to waste time getting those tokens I think I'll be fine I'm gonna knock on wood here but I've been playing pretty well yeah I have 11 lives so we should be okay there's only one more secret in this world that's kind of difficult to get that I'm ah oh, crap oh yeah of course right after I all right this sucks I'll be honest oh, well we're getting close to the end when you start seeing the armadillos that's when you're getting to the end of this map and I guess it's better to have Donkey Kong than Diddy Kong through this since he can kill him a little easier but I tend to go a little slower that was weird he shot like straight up I don't know if anybody else noticed that but oh yeah and then they end with this grand finale here but yeah we're out of here so yeah that was Misty Mine and then looks like that stoner thought it was a good idea to open up an airport in some caves but we'll move on to loopy lights another one of those levels where instead of using the lights to keep the enemies at bay you gotta hit the barrels to keep the lights on now the thing that sucks about this one is there's some spots where you just gotta go with the lights off first secret straight down here in this first pit jump in the middle and you're not gonna know where you're jumping if I make it all the way through this map without dying I will be impressed and the other thing is is with the way the levels lit like you can't tell whether those are purple or blue clap traps so you don't know if they're gonna jump with you or not so that's always fun uh, this is the other map I was talking about that has the difficult secret to access and it's not even like like it's past the save barrel but it's like all the way at the end of the map which is a pain in the butt but I don't know either way whoever rigged up this light system in this cave is a bastard yeah I tried I didn't risk it too much though oh shit okay so this is one of those times where you don't know where you're jumping okay I took a gamble and it paid off all right and we made it to the midway barrel cool Okay, I think I'm gonna take this with me just as like an insurance policy basically and then we're just gonna keep doing this and the next time that comes into vision ow all right fine okay this is gonna suck you son of a bitch ah well so I gotta jump across that pit with that TNT barrel and hit the wall the problem is you probably couldn't see it there's a vulture throwing coconuts right above it which like you can't see him so you don't know where his coconuts are going so it's basically like half luck based and it's a lot better to use Diddy there because he holds the barrel out in front of him and you can just haul ass across that cavern but still not ideal all right I'll try this again grab it all right run got it all right that's the second secret and then you know you're just basically running in the dark in this one see I don't see like you don't know where you're going I got a token for some animal I do not know which one but whatever oh the other piece of shit move in this map is at the end that 
Okay, I don't know what happened there. Oh my god, we gotta go all the way back to the save barrel now, too. <sighs> okay. Anyways, like I was saying, the other crappy thing about this map is when you finally get to the end, there's not a lot of light, and they make you run down the path to the end of the map with a... Oh my god. Mankey Kong throwing barrels at you. Ah, oh, see, I can't... I can't make that jump. Like, I... I God, this is going to make me mad. I guess the saving grace is... The next, the next map, I don't know. I don't think it's as hard, but... It's the last map. I guess that could be the saving grace, but... Give me that shit. Okay. I thought I ran off the ledge there, so... I hope this doesn't take me to a bonus... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. Get me out of here, please. I think this is probably my least fav... Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Okay, so this part... Bees, right? You're used to clap traps. It's bees. And then they're gonna try to make you flinch here in a second. I don't know if I got all the letters or not. I did not. Right there is where they try to make you flinch. Okay, this is where Mankey Kong becomes a bastard. Because you can't see. Shit! Oh my god, see? And they space it just enough so you can't just jump to him. I got... Oh! Okay. Swap out here. Don't know what's gonna happen. I'll probably take a coconut to the face. Jump! God! Pretty sure I hit the right button there. Alright, come on. I'm gonna feed this to that vulture. Loser. That just got a lot easier. <laughs> if you can make it over there with the barrel, I guess. Yeah, you know what? We're not. We're not. I don't want to accidentally enter a secret room and take up more time than I need to. We're still doing okay on lives, so as long as I can basically not die. Not really die, just lose one of the monkeys, I should be able to exit this map. Okay. Okay. We're at the bee maze. Okay. Okay. Alright, Mankey, you son of a bitch. Suck it, moron. I think that should be it. Yep, okay. Okay! They do try to bone you at the exit. I forgot about that. Okay, so here we're at Candy Save Point, and we got one more map to take care of before the final, well, the boss of this world, and then we got to do the um, final boss fight. But here's a new enemy. These guys, even Donkey Kong can't kill. You got to use a barrel on them. So we'll do that. So this map is kind of like Tanked Up Trouble, but it's not a cart. It's just these platforms that, if you remember from the factory levels, they just drop off after a certain period of time. So, the secrets in this map are right at the beginning and right at the end. So what you want to do is, you probably saw that barrel when I walked in. Just jump straight off that first one, straight down. Just ride this platform into the barrel. And then you don't have to worry about anything until the end of the map. We will take a life here. Yeah, it's just timing your jumps, basically. Get out of here. Yeah. Alright. Now, I believe it's a better idea to use Donkey Kong in this map, if I remember correctly. Yeah, now. 
Not much we can do about that one. I do think the game is not as ruthless in this world. I'm pretty sure they give you quite a few barrels. Shit. Not in a good spot there. Oh, God. Thought I was going down for sure. Yep. See, that's one of those that's just not worth it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, come on. We're using Donkey Kong through this, and you'll see why in a second. Didn't even grab the other letter, so I'm not going to do it. As we go along these platforms here, we're going to come across this guy. Hey, he's not a lot of fun to try to cartwheel on a on a short notice, so... Alright. I really royally messed that up. I hesitated. I should have just kept pressing forward instead. I. Yeah, anyways. Well, that's fun. You get to kill the bee coming out of the save barrel, so... Whatever. Alright. Come on. See, and a lot of this can suck, too, is if these little moles aren't closest to you when you make the jump. It can be a little nerve-wracking. Sometimes they'll even take you out because you don't have a lot of platform to work with. But we're going to try not to die again here. Alright, there we go. It's not so bad. Okay, look at this. Look at this crap. Now, this is a lot easier to make this throw with the barrel over your head with Donkey Kong than it is with Diddy Kong because you have to do, like, a jump throw. Plus, yeah, you don't want to be making jump throws when you're on a platform like this. This one, they try to trip you up. The guy is behind you. And you got to make that throw pretty quick. Could you imagine doing all this by trying to do a jump throw? Okay, I think I was supposed to... Yep, okay. So the final secret here. Yep, right here. Just run backwards off that platform and jump right through here. And I don't really... I'm going to get this wrong on purpose because... It wasn't this one. I know that. Yeah, we're right before the boss. So... Yeah. And now we can just get out of here. So now we're going to go to Candy Save Point. And we're going to jump right in that barrel. And look at that, 100%. And we still have two boss fights left. That's because we got everything. All right. So now I'm not going to eat my words here. Neki's Revenge is another recycled boss. And what I like to do here... Okay, he didn't do that right. I sort of got the jump button doesn't work half the time on this controller. But anyways, he's going to spit nuts at you, and you just got to bounce off the tire, and so he's going to spit two now. Just bounce off the tire and hit him in the beak. He's going to spit three. And I don't know. I like to use the tire to dodge him. Okay, I for some reason thought he was going to do three there. Yep, I could tell my, my jumps were off, and I was going to eat it on that last one. Oh, well. At least we, uh... Get another monkey. Alright, come on. You think Big Bird was copyrighted so they couldn't call him that? Four. Alright, one more should do the trick. One, two... You son of a bitch. Alright. Well, he's dead anyways. So, yeah. That was the last full world of Donkey Kong Country. So, Neki's down. So, what does that mean? It means in the next map, we are going to take on King K. Rule on his ship, the Gangplant Galleon. Which it looks like he has docked 
finally, after taking however long it took me to play this game, months, maybe even years, to sail in here. But yeah, that's where we're going to pick things up in the next video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got more videos like it. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Check me out on Twitter, Facebook. I do have social media. And yeah, just hang out. Like I always say, my name is Greek Limes, yours is not. I will see you guys in the finale of Donkey Kong Country on the Gangplank Galleon. I will check you later.